Jesus.
Henry. Good day, Henry. and stay out of sight. What do you want? I've got a few questions for you, Bailiff, if you don't mind. Have you been having some trouble around here? And what business is it of yours? Did someone complain? Who sent you here? No one complained, though I'd be interested to know why you think they might. It was Lord Radzig who sent me. He'd heard word that some unsavoury characters are holed up round here. Begging your pardon? But what the devil does Sir Radzig care about it? And I keep hearing the same from Sir Sebastian. And he's got no dog in this fight either. You have an inn and the horse trails cross here. There must be many travellers come seeking work and not all of them honest men. Aye, it's true. Bedlam has broken out once or twice and restoring order was no easy matter. Has there been anything like that lately? No. It's been quiet here lately. Now that I think about it, I don't recall coming across anyone here like that. 
Nobody looking for soldiering work, maybe as a merchant's guard? There's always one or two like that. But if they don't get the job, they move on. Sir Sebastian? Who's that? Sebastian Baron von Berg. He's here under monastery law to protect us against all this unrest in the land. Why should he care about the city? That's not his jurisdiction, is it? Quite true. I'm in charge of this city, but he keeps telling me I've got cutthroats hiding around here and I should be more vigilant. The goal of the man. I heard some recruiters are meeting in Sassau. Seemed likely they'd get up to mischief and people might complain. Do you think that people here complain and I don't do my job? Nothing of the sort. Old Lederman's the only one that comes complaining, but I pay no heed to him. And what does this Lederman complain about? Lederman is our local tanner. Lives by the quarry, which is where, well, some youngsters go there to wrestle. They go there to fight and that doesn't bother you? Why would it bother me? Much better to brawl there than in the tavern. At least in the quarry they can't damage anything but each other. And my catchpoles go by there from time to time to keep an eye on things. Have you heard any talk of strangers in the town? Maybe people acting oddly? Nothing worth mentioning. Sure, there's been some talk about the miller. Folks saying they've been seeing him doing this or that, or people visiting him at night. But he's never done anything. He's a decent enough man. For a miller. I'll try asking him if he's heard anything. He lives on the other side of the river, by the bogs. But don't go getting your hopes up. He might not be able to help. Thank you, Bailiff. Jesus! Hey! Get out of here, or I'll call the guards on you. Beat it. Are there any problems around here I might be able to help with? Nothing I've heard about. Thank the good Lord. It's quiet here. Have you noticed anything suspicious lately? And what's your idea of suspicious? Have you heard of anyone looking to hire some rough men? Mercenaries, you mean? Yes. There were some fellows conspiring here in the corner twice a week, and others coming and going. They didn't look entirely respectable, but they never made any trouble. And what happened to them? I don't know. They just stopped coming. And I haven't seen hide nor hair of them since. You haven't heard anything about where they went? How could I have? They just stopped coming, and that's that. Where do you think they might be meeting now? How should I know? 
I'm an honest innkeeper, not a man at arms. They could be meeting at another inn. They could be meeting in the woods by the light of the moon, for all I know. Is there any way I'll recognize them? Unquenchable thirst? They drank like fish. They were rough looking too. Big bearded and scruffy. Aside from that, they mostly kept to themselves. That's not much help. What did they do while they were waiting for someone? They drank. And they played dice. I do remember there are always dice on the table. So they were fond of dice, were they? And where would you find a game around here? Anywhere there's dice and usually drink. That's all you need for a game. Although it dawns on me now, I never saw Simon with those men, oddly enough. He's got a nose for drunken dice players with a coin to lose. Simon who? Why, the young miller. He runs Katzik Mill. Neighbours are always slandering him for trafficking, but who knows? Maybe he just has a knack for business. You don't know where I might find some, um, more dishonourable folk. And why would you want them? You'll set tongues wagging about you. But they'd be the ones to know what reputable townsfolk don't. I grant you that. Well, we don't have an executioner, just a knacker. But he's an odd fellow. Like any knacker, I suppose. And there's some strange tales about Miller Simon, too. But I'd say it's just jealousy. What can you tell me about the knacker? Decent folk don't talk about him. He deals in carcasses. Well, I was hoping you'd tell me a bit more than that. Why should I care about him? He lives in a house by the church and that's all I know. And all I'll say. What can you tell me about Simon? There's not much to tell. He runs Katzig Mill, and some say thieves meet there at night. But isn't there gossip about every miller? I don't think he's a sinner. But only God knows for sure. Anything else? You might not find him at the mill. He's a busy man, always out and about making some deal or other. And he likes to throw dice, especially when he sees a fat purse hanging on a drunken belly. Thank you for the help. Not at all. But why off so soon? Sit down for a tankard or a bite to eat. Jesus, look where you're going! Get out of here! Are you the local knacker? I'm the local grave digger. But if there aren't any burials to take care of, I'll turn me hand to knackering. Well, then you might know a lot of things that others don't. I'm a decent man. Not always honest, but decent. Anything fishy going on in these parts? There certainly is. Candles are being stolen from the church, as brazen as that. What sort of people do that? Ah, oh, but have you heard of anyone around here hiring adventurers and bandits? How would I know that? Most people avoid talking to me. I don't even go to the tavern much these days. And what's been happening in Sassau lately? Nothing interesting. Except maybe that bitch being slaughtered. What? Who was she, a villager? I wouldn't call that nothing interesting. No! I mean a dog bitch. It was a while back, but they called me to clear it up. What happened? The dog looked like she'd been hacked to bits. They were scared it was some demon. But as far as I could see, someone took a sword or an axe to her. Why on earth would anyone do that? What do I know? Maybe he was snooping around where he shouldn't. 
and the bitch went for him. I hear there was some dog-bitten fellow being cared for at the monastery. Only they kept him there on account of a broken leg. Maybe that's the same one. Thank you. I'll be going now. Very well. Feel free to stop by any time. People shy away from me, except when there's a death or the cesspit's full. You? Go away! I want nothing to... Tanner, I've heard all's not well with you. It's better now. I must have eaten something bad. No, I mean you've complained about some ruffians raising hell behind your house. Aye, true enough. That lot's been a thorn in my side. And when I went to tell them to take it elsewhere, they nearly beat me to a pulp. If you want, I'll take care of them. Well, you look like you could move mountains, but there are several of them and just one of you. Perhaps we'll be able to settle things peacefully. Maybe. They might think twice before kicking your arse. Perhaps I can reason with them. It doesn't have to come to blows. Well, break a leg, lad. Or better yet, don't. But if you manage to pull it off, you'll get your reward. Don't worry. Beat it! You've been having trouble with a bit of luck. What are you loitering here? Oh, God damn it, my stomach hurts. You! Oh, 
Go away. I want nothing to do with you. What happened with the Tanner? Nothing out of the ordinary. He came to test his mettle like everyone, but he couldn't even get past young Weed. Then he started whining about getting his money back because we tricked him, so we threw him out. He came back a few times after that complaining about all the shouting, and ordered us to bugger off elsewhere. But you didn't? No. And when he got really annoying, he got a punch in the mouth, and he hasn't been back since. Doesn't dare to. But it didn't shut that big mouth of his. I heard that someone's looking for men willing to do anything. Do you know anything about that? Willing to do anything? Meaning what? Something filthy like helping the knacker? I wouldn't know. Go and ask someone else. That's not what I meant, but all right. What are you loitering here for? Get lost! I'm looking for work, and I've heard someone around here wants fearless men. Do you know anything about it? Hmm. I've heard they might be looking for a new knacker. So if you're not afraid of carcasses and the occasional pile of shite... Thanks, but no thanks. Word has it someone's hiring mercenaries and other fighters. Ah, well, you've heard more than I. The tanner sent me. He says you've been causing a commotion at night, and I thought I might convince you to stop. Ha! <laughs> so all his whining finally found a friendly ear, did it? Let me tell you something first, whelp. I'm the bailiff's man, and we're not doing anything wrong here. Old Letterman's only been whining like that since he lost a bit of silver. Didn't bother him before that. He told me different. Ha! <laughs> of course he did. Otherwise no one would help him. Go ahead and ask the lads. They'll tell you the same. It's God's honest truth. I'll take you at your word. But what should I do now? The way I see it, you've got two choices. Screw that old liar and leave him be or get down to business. What do you mean, get down to business? Well, you may think you're pretty tough, and if you give us all a thrashing, we might think it over. But then again, we're no strangers to a hard fight. If I break your arm, then you won't be coming here for a while, will you? But I'm a fair fellow, so I'll make you an offer. If you enter our tournament and win, which means beating us all, then we'll go elsewhere. If you don't win, then you're flat out of luck and have to leave. That's not so bad, is it? If I wanted to join in, what would I have to do? It's pretty simple. First you have to beat Weed. He's that not too dangerous looking fella there. But some nights, he gets a good rest and he's got God on his side. Then you can try one of those three. Doesn't matter which. And if you whip all three, you can test your metal against me. Fair enough. So the last match is with you? That's right. They say a bout with me is no joke, just bad humours. <laughs> I want to fight you. What did I tell you? Get out of here. Let's do it. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. We remember. Wait a minute. Was that the time you dropped on him and then sat on him? No. It, it was before that. He's talking about that. What are you loitering here for? Get lost! Let's fight! That wasn't...
Get out of here. Let's fight. That was. Clear off. Let's fight. You look pretty good. But I'm betting it was just luck. We'll see. What is it? Get out of here! Clear off, I don't want to talk to you. I want to fight you. You put on quite a show. Can't say I expected it. Yeah, yeah. We remember. Wait a minute. Was that the time you dropped on him and then sat on him? No. It, it was before Clear off. I don't want to talk to you. Talking about that trapper from Luckily. I didn't sit on anyone. How many fucking times? That was pretty good. I didn't think you had it in you. You were really good. I've got to hand it to you. Most lads don't make it past me. So listen, I want to tell you something. What's that? There are people here looking for really tough men, and I'd say you fit the bill. So when you walk through town this evening, if there's a light in the church, go in and wait a while. If they like the looks of you, they might give you some work. Thanks.
I'll think about it. I'll have to get something to eat. Get out of here. Oh, damn it, I'm hungry. Hey! What are you loitering here for? Get What are you doing here? Nothing special. Just a little evening wrestling. It's good for your back and digestion. And your purse too, if you know your business. Look here, lads. I hope I won't be seeing you around here again. Go and find some other place for your games. All right, all right. We'll go. But if you want to fight again, you're always welcome. I bet you'll come off worse next time. I have to eat something. Star. To eat, actually. Are you serious? You? Go away! I want nothing to do with you! I've taken care of the lads who were bothering you. You'll have a quiet evening tonight. God bless you, lad. And here's something for your trouble and kindness. Unlike that miserable bailiff. If anything else grieves you, just say the word.
Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. What? So, you've been looking for us, eh? What is it you want? I hear you're hiring men who don't mind getting their hands dirty. Is that so? Then where did you hear that? Taverns and the like. People talk. Well, that's a pretty tale. But no one in any tavern told you to come here and wait, did they? So let's have it. Who told you? The bailiff's man told me about you. The one who runs the fight club in the quarry. <laughs> did he now? Well, I hope you tranced him. Bastard took my money at dice. If you want, I can give him a proper hiding, just to show you I'm serious. Spare me the boasting. I've got a test ready for you. Let's see how you handle it before you tell us how wonderful you are. What test? Nothing complicated. We used to take anyone who looked like they could keep their head on straight. But not now. Now you can only join if you do what we tell you. Which is what? Steal something? Nah, not theft. If you want to join us, you have to kill Pius. Who's Pius? And why should I kill him? That's none of your business. But I'll tell you anyway, because it's an instructive tale. Pius was one of us, but he fucked up. How? Did he steal something? Yeah, that was part of it. Stole some money, ran away. A few boys died over it. Showed a distinct lack of loyalty. And as soon as he's dead, you can join us. I'll have to find him first. <laughs> you don't need to find him. We know where he is. Then why haven't you killed him yourselves? It's quite a test. He's hiding in a monastery. With the stable boys? It's not hard to get into the grounds. <laughs> no, not there. Oh, he would have been dead long since. He's in the, uh, cloister, or whatever it is. But only monks can get in there. <laughs> Just monks and pious. He's an educated bastard. Seems he used to be a priest, but it didn't quite work out. And how am I supposed to get into the cloister? Hey, you'll think of something. Maybe there's a secret passage. I've heard there's some cave underneath. The cave of St. Procopius. There might be a way into it from outside. And do you have any other ideas besides secret passages? Well, there is this one fellow been hanging around the taverns. Supposed to join the monastery soon. Might be he could help you somehow. I'd try talking to him if I were you. And if he doesn't help, knock him on his ass and take anything he's got that you could use to pass yourself off as him. A letter of admittance to the monastery, or whatever. How will I recognize Pius? He won't have been there long. He should be the only new one there. But what if there are others? What does he look like? Normal. He always went about well-dressed and had a fine-looking dagger. Yes, except he'll be given a robe and they'll take his knife. Then you'll have to try and figure out which one of the novices it is and get him to betray himself. Try getting him drunk. Then send him straight to hell. Get him drunk? In a monastery? <laughs> We're better. There's more wine there than in the royal cellars, and I doubt he's suddenly stopped drinking. Fine. So I've got to kill Pius. He's in the cloister, and to get into the cloister, I'll need to enlist the help of some boy who's joining the order, right? More or less. And now the main thing. The main thing is to kill him, isn't it? <laughs> of course. But that's not all. All hell's gonna break loose in the monastery after the murder. So, either make sure nobody finds him, or hightail it out of there quick as soon as the job's done. But better if they don't find him right away. And what else? Should I come back here afterwards? No, no. Before you run for it, take his special dice and bring it as proof that you killed him. And if you can get him to tell you where he hid the coin, bring that as well. 
Bring his dice and the money if I find it. And where should I bring it? From the monastery, head east across the river. There'll be a swamp where you'll find a fire pit. Go there at night and light a fire. Make it nice and big and we'll show up. Take the dice and the money, and then tell you where to report. Got it? Right, I'm to slip into the best guarded place in the entire region and kill someone. Take his dice and money, and then go to the swamp and wait by the fire. Yeah, that's the idea. <sighs> well, you can at least say a few Hail Marys for me. I'm gonna need all the help I can get. <laughs> and remember, we'll be keeping tabs. So don't you try to run off, alright?
Rip it, my... What are you loitering here for? Get the... You wouldn't be Carl by any chance? No.